not lady star. I'm an ordained minister. And on Sunday, I'll dress appropriately. But when I'm out in the sun, I'm going to take the sun, vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Right now, you know we are unstoppable. Unstoppable, that means I can't stop you. No, unstoppable, no, no, we are well, one again and top of the family. Some people, you know me always say, some people need to go clean out the dirt from under them dirty bed and go wash up the dirty plate them in their kitchen before them notice what go on in other people's life. But it's like them just now listen. People always want to troll other people before them look inside for them dirty life and fix where I go on in it. When you get to me and talk about, yeah, I just saw some people stay and I just don't understand why. Every day, them get up, go up on the internet. Just we got true people about feed them life when feed them life is a wreck. Case and point, Minister Marian Hall. Yes, it is about Minister Hall again. Yesterday, yes, just yesterday, Minister Hall uploaded this Instagram photo with the caption, the girls and I out for lunch. Or I think she said me and the girls out for lunch, right? And when she posted that, the picture looked nice. I'm not telling a lie, Minister Hall looked like she could have gone on with that thing, in you know, my opinion. See? But instead of the people, them, well, some did compliment her. But some of them, this side, them are got troll. And them are write some things like, Minister Hall, them boobs, they are exposed too much. Minister Hall, for a minister, you should know how to dress more appropriately. Minister Hall, you look... And I'm like, wait there, man. Are all them people here so holy? Why? Why? Why them couldn't just give her a compliment and leave it there and keep it moving? But instead, them are focused more upon the ladies' cleavage. Why? Just give her a compliment. What you want she to do? Dress up in a black robe and go out there from head to toe with a veil? Eh? Well, Minister Raal noticed the comments and Minister Raal decided, you know what? I'm going to address them. But she do it nice and calm. Listen what Minister Raal had to say. Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? Okay, bless you, bless you. I just want to do this short video to address the comments that I heard, like some of you judging me because my I have some cleavage. I, I can't, I can't help myself, baby girls. I can't help myself, baby boys. God is the one who created this body, and guess what? I can't do anything about what God blessed me with. If God bless me with some boobs, then I got some boobs. Sometimes I'm preaching, they fall, they jump out. Can I stop that? No, because God has enhanced me naturally, right? I can't be covered every day. I'm in Miami, it's hot in Miami here. I can't be covered every day in these hot, like you won't see me on the road in the big hats that you see me um, preaching in and the long dresses. If I dress like that, you see I look old. If I dress, oh, I wear shorts and I wear shirts, like skirts. And I mean skirts, yeah? Not way up, but I wear skirts. I got tattoos, yeah, I got a few of them. Mm -hmm. So what can I do? I can't please you, baby. It's not my problem if you don't have some boobs in it, how you want to wear them, if you want to cover them, show them. God cares for what is behind the art. The left art right here, uh, the left breast, I mean, sorry, Lord Jesus, getting all confused with you and your problems. So my heart is right here on the left. And God cares about what's behind there, not my boobs. Yeah? So if that's all you see, I guess they look good, right? I'm still a Christian and I do talk. Yeah? So don't get this twisted. I'm still Marian, not Lady Star. I'm an ordained minister and on Sunday I'll dress appropriately. But when I'm out in the sun, I'm going to take the sun, vitamin D. Mm hmm Because I got what? I don't have double D's. I got vitamin D. Mm -hmm. I'm taking some. So have a blessed day. And you, if you know me by now, you would know that I don't care what you say about me. <laughs> you have the keys to heaven. So you can't stop me if I'm going or not. Okay? So. I can't, I can't help it. I was born and blessed. I was, oh, I'm so blessed. And I love my body. Whatever shape, when I put on some weight, it's all right. I take, I, I'm, I'm good with that. So, can you see my heart? No, you can. But God can. Have a wonderful day. I'm having lunch. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. You could talk all you want. You can't stop me from going to heaven if I'm going. I hope I'm going. <laughs> if you know me by now, you know I don't care. It's somebody calling me. This one telling me. Oh, people commenting. Who cares about your comment? 
I don't answer to anyone. I'm sexy. I'm a sexy Christian. I like to dress sexy on my clothes. Yes, my lingerie line is lavished by Marion Marie. <laughs> Love me or hate me, I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. Black me a talk about right there, so oh, you mean? Fix them nice and decent. Comment all you want. Hate me all you want. Don't like our dress all you want. Talk about my boobs all you want. I just don't care. Me agree with Minister Alpanda one day. Yeah. We worry too much about people comments. Make people comment. Because if you do good, them are gonna talk. If you do bad, them are gonna talk. People want you to live for please them. Live for please yourself. Alright, Minister Al, you look nice in your dress here. Continue to do it so. Alright, anyway, people, let's move right along. Well, I don't know what say. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, right? How do you feel about this whole Valentine's Day thing? Eh? Ladies, I want to ask. I don't want to no man fix up for Valentine's Day. You know, go get a nice sharp ear cut and thing. And you know, if ear in the nose, pick, pick out the ear them and you know, clean up the ears whole. And <laughs> you understand? All of them things there. I don't like when no man, but I not only for Valentine's Day. Your man for do them things there, do. <coughs> if I only Valentine's Day, your man do them things there, something is very wrong. Well, Miss Kitty, I address. Some man, and I say, hey, well, we don't need to fix up on the thing, you know. You see, because we as women don't like it. Listen to what Miss Kitty has said right here, so people. Gentlemen, we need to go to Baba. Find liquor up at Park Plaza to dig out on the face. The bug them in on the face is not manna from heaven. We don't like it. Go get out the blackheads. Go deal with yourself. Groom yourself. If you have ear in your nose or in your ears, creep them out. Creep out the ear them out of your nose and out of your eyes. We don't want an ear in nose and we don't want a ear ears. Come on, we put a little tongue in a little ears, the ear are twilight to panic pout about I wanna like it. Let me tell you no. And the bitter ears, Jesus! Kill body! The bitter ears. Murder! What if we clean out to the ears? You gotta clean your earlobes. Clean the inner ear, the outer ear, behind the ear. Somebody be out of the ear smell like poop. Why? It's not right. You can't imagine the love making now. Yeah, I love you. You know, you gotta look at ears. And then, it's rock vibes. <laughs> But ear to ears. I mean, ear to ears. Worst bitter ears with ear in there? Oh my god. Oh my god. Just call the fire brigade right away. Not even the brigade, the brigade. I cannot with the bitter ace. The bitter ace, you gotta go. So, gentlemen, clean behind your ears. And ladies, clean your ears too, okay? Please. I'm just saying. You know, so we can't go to the show if I'm going to clean my ears. Please, use your rag. You don't have to use those Q-tips. And by the way, the biggest thing to go in your ear should be your elbow. So those Q-tips are not good for your ears. Just clean your ears with your little rag. Right? But the bitter ears, broke vibes. Me not tell the light. Eh. And then, where's the ear and then the ears? Roxy, then the bitterness. See ya? Pressure, you struggle with <laughs> <laughs> You know, so I bite seats. And then, okay, when you so saw like that, ah! My God, what's going on? You have to go. No, me, I start vomit. Me tell you, my stomach is even sick. That's why we can't treat someone. Then something we can't manage the things. Then that's why we say book over body can me can't manage the things. Then yeah, me my tears in here. I'm easy to cry. Me can't manage. But the bitter is something there, man. You gotta, you gotta cut that out. No, you see, two me know me a boy now if you worry about them things there. Miss Kitty call me here. Yeah? Ears always clean. Mm. Fear that always a go on with that thing. Yeah. And no, ear nose now go on. Eh, eh, we not deal with that. <laughs> anyway, people, talk to me down in the comment section. Ladies, let me know if you not agree with Miss Kitty. Did Miss Kitty hit her nerve? Me I talk to the man them now, cause you have some man out there might inner them feelings in and I say, yo, what oh Miss Kitty your talk. Eh, I can't mean she your talk. See? I have the one that we are gonna come defensive and try to say, yo, Miss Kitty need to go fix this and go fix that. 
a uno a go come defensive. The one them when no say she hit the nail on the head. Watch out about people. This has been another one from Unstoppable TV. Like, share, comment, and definitely if this is your first time here and you have not yet hit the subscribe button, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button now. Turn on all notifications. Once we upload a video, you will get notified. No matter what, don't let nobody stop you. I'm unstoppable and I'm out. Right now you know we unstoppable. Unstoppable.